Well, it was uh, second time lucky for Sarah, who met new partner Keisha on the show, and they both join us now, and it's lovely to have you here. The thing is, though, I mean, how do you see it? Did you go on the show twice, or did David go on and then you went on? Exactly right. I mean, initially I thought, yes, I'm on there twice, but no. First of all, it was David, and then it was me. I am really such a different person to David. Yeah. So mm -hmm. much has changed. So, yeah, really new person, definitely a new thing altogether. And before going back on the show, or as you, as we see it going on, sh on the show for the first time, had you started dating in the outside world, not in that way, not with television cameras in front of you? Yes. Well, yes, I tried. Oh, my God, it's so difficult. I mean, when you first transition, it's, it is hard anyway, dating. Um, mm -hmm. And I've been let down so many times, which was so disappointing. And um, I did have one actually really nice date with a guy, my first date with a guy, which went really well. And that consolidated in my mind that I wasn't lesbian as I'd initially thought, because I hadn't opened up to that. Yeah. Um, but, oh, my God, he's kissing. It's, it's, I mean, it was like a blooming bull mastiff on heat, oh, eating bad, the face. Bad kisser. Yeah, just slightly. Right, so that oh, was it. My first goodness. kiss, right, you quietly in your head, you're done. <laughs> yeah. I, I, Try to teach him how to do it. Yeah, oh no, no. thank no. you, Nex. You, thank no. you, Nex. So yes. when, so when um, David went on, um, uh, uh, the difference between uh, you going on and uh, seeing uh, seeing the show last night and David going on, what was David looking for? Oh my goodness, David was always looking for a partner, always looking for love. Um, I remember at the start of his program, he actually said he's looking to find himself. Ah. Uh. Well, yeah. do you know oh, what? Wow. Yes. This did David is did David have a hint in his head of of what he really needed? He, no, he didn't. He was so um, brought up knowing at a very young age that he was trans, but it was essentially beaten out, not physically, that yeah. um, you don't ever think those things. So as he grew up, he just saw himself as a bit quirky, effeminate, kinky, just a difference. Um, so even when going on Naked Attraction, he didn't know. There was no hint in his mind he was trans. He just thought anything else that he thinks of was just a little out of the ordinary for a, yeah. for a typical bloke. So he had no idea. Okay. And for, for you, um, when you became your true, authentic self, um, how did life change? How did it feel? What was your head like? Oh, my God. Incredible. Absolutely incredible. To, to suddenly go out and live full time as your true self, and you know in your heart it is your true self, it's just the most beautiful and amazing feeling. Oh. But obviously, you know, there are troubles on the way. Mm -hmm. Being trans and being freshly transitioning is not an easy thing. So, what you very, very quickly learn is that every day you take massive steps outside your comfort zone, and the only way to progress is to do that. Sometimes you have to do them deliberately. Oh, so, and then what point do you decide to go back on the show? Because, like you said, you tried dating and, yes. you know, that started off hard. What point do you say, OK, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this I'm again? I'm going to give it a go. Um, so I was in contact with the team anyway because they'd heard that I was transitioning and it's just a bit of interest. But um, when, I re when I found that, you know, dating was just really difficult, people were not turning up and it, it was just awful. Mm. And I thought, do you know what? Maybe if I did go on there, a second time lucky, being my true self, knowing exactly who I am, what I'm looking for, mm. maybe it would, it would work. Mm. And, of course, I had to go through the audition process and everything else. There's no preferential treatments. Mm. And, um, yeah, and that's how I got round there a second well, time. We were talking in the break about... I mean, it's a brave show to go on for, <gasps> you know, sort of 95% of the population. It's a brave show to, to go on. Oh, but but you say you're so you know, open and, uh, and honest, that yeah. it's not re it wasn't really taking your kit off, wasn't a bother. No, not, not at all. No. I admire that so much. I admire that so much because that, for me, is literally... Yeah. <gasps> like no. ..the scariest <laughs> thing. Because we were talking in the break and you were saying when you were all a little bit nervous about sitting and talking on this sofa, I'm like, this sofa's nothing! <laughs> you know, you've been the bravest. Are you kidding? No! <laughs> going negative is a piece of piss. It's so no. easy. Sorry. Sorry. Um, <laughs> the uh, the the, the <laughs> fact that you went on with um, with um, yourself last night, and then David went on. You said that David was going on that show thinking with a particular part of his body, yeah. um, whereas <laughs> you yeah. went on 
last night um, looking for something different. Completely different. Looking for eyes yes. and smiles. Yes, yes. One thing I've learned is that the true attraction in a person is the eyes and the smile. You can tell so much yeah. from that. Um, and, yeah, David was going on with a typical masculine attitude that, that didn't work. He mm -hmm. wasn't looking for the deeper connection. Yeah. And when you're looking at eyes and smile, my God, that's where you see everything. Well, I am seeing... <laughs> <Ta -da>! <laughs> <laughs> oh, beautiful smile and beautiful eyes sat to your left. Keisha, this, is, this has been, I suppose, like a whirlwind experience for you both, meeting in the way that you've met, sitting here today. How are you, how are you feeling? It's great. It's, it's weird. Well, it's weird. Great still. Mm -hmm. I could have found people, found each other in a different situation. Yes. I've tried dating sites and they didn't work. Yeah. So I thought, if I tried something naked, it might work. <laughs> and so would you, do you feel the same? In, in Actually, you're very open, it doesn't matter, you're not bothered yeah. about that. When I first watched the show, I was like, what is this what I'm watching? Yeah. But then you kind of get into it. Yeah. And then you see the advertisement at the end saying, oh, would you audition? I'm all like, but would you though, would you? And then you do anyway. <laughs> Were you surprised to be to be picked? Because um, it was a it was a, a very different show because obviously there were a, a mix of, yes. of all mixes of genders. Yes. Um, and so you uh, you ended up with um, fifty four year old forklift driver uh, Martin. That's Martin. Um, he was he was there, and uh, and obviously you've got Keisha as well. So the the, the options were there uh, yeah. for you. Were you surprised to be picked? To be honest, not really. No. Really. When I see a little crew of people, I was like. As long as Green don't go first, I'm all right. And then it didn't go second, and I was like, yeah, I'm winning this. I'm winning uh, yes, I love that. <laughs> I had the confidence. I, I was like, yeah, I got you this. Knew it. <laughs> In the bag. I love that. And, and so the, the date was amazing. Was. You had to get on the bus and go back to Leeds, which was uh, annoying because you didn't. we didn't get that sort of closing mm -hmm. ho uh, hotel yes, door. Hotel but... door scene. <laughs> That's what I um, wanted. But what's it been like since together? Oh, it's been nice. Talking every single day, literally every day. Mm. We see each other most times. When I'm, when I'm at hol uh, when kids are on holidays, I used to go see Sarah in Plymouth. Can't even catch a train or coach. Longest journey of my life. Yes, it's, <laughs> it's a long way. It's a long way. But worth yes. it. It was, you can do a flight in that journey. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, but now, a whole new life. Yeah. It is a whole new life, yes. And it's almost been a year as well. And it's been, yes, it has been like nine months, nine months. now, because that was filmed like nine months ago. Yes. And Everything is still just going so well. Yeah, well, we yeah, love and we're kids straight away too. Yeah, what? We click straight away. Do you know what I thought you said? We're going to have kids straight away. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay. okay. No. That's what you want to have on the telly yeah. for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> um, we wish you well. It's lovely to see you yes. both. Thank um, you. Thank uh, you. So happy and thank you. Thank you very much Exciting indeed. Of course, Naked Attraction continues on Wednesdays at ten on Channel Four and uh, catching up on uh, all four as well. Nice to meet you both. You too.